What's up, Vertex Tribe? It's Nick, B-Man, D-Man here. I got a quick uh, thing that's been bugging me this time of year. You guys want to hear about it? Oh, yeah. For sure, yeah. Nick. So here's the deal. Black Friday, it doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist because Black Friday exists like three to four weeks prior to the date. It exists on the date. It exists after the date. Mm -hmm. It's all a scam. It's all ridiculous. And you can literally kiss my ass if you can offer 75 to 80% discounts and still make a profit, you know, like how much are you making off me year round? You guys are a bunch of thieves and it doesn't make or make, it doesn't bring any significance if you call it Black Friday, but it's every fucking day for, four, for a month, right? Like it's stupid. It doesn't make any yeah. sense anymore. Yeah, it just doesn't have the impact. It's nothing. They drew it out the same way they draw out everything else. The holiday itself has been drawn into like a two-month extravaganza. It's yeah. nonsense. It needs to stop. Yeah, every, you're right. Every store. I went into a, uh, I went into a Kohl's yesterday. Uh, and every sign, every ca end cap, everything. Early Black Friday sales. Yeah. And it yeah. was all, you know, everything's dirt cheap. And yeah, it's just, just an extension of it. Just... More more ways to separate you from your money faster, sooner, and you'll probably, you know, you're more inclined to spend it then. You'll spend it again on Black Friday, either yeah. on the internet. It's it's a racket. And I think I think the internet hasn't helped. Like if you remember back in the day, Black Friday was like you got to line up at the doorbuster, pick your store, yeah. and go do your thing. Now you could just log on, and everybody's got the early Black Friday stuff. Not only that, like yeah. I went to buy something today. Um, I won't say where, but like I have one of those things in like my Chromebook where it like applies coupons mm -hmm. if you if, like the code yeah, yeah. and like their black friday sale was like hey 45 percent off if you use this code well i tried all the codes and i found a code that was 57 percent off what so like the code was more if you knew about it more than their black friday sale so it's all a racket it's all a racket and don't tell me that something normally costs 149 dollars but if i put in you know four magical words now that thing costs 70 and you're still making money from it yeah like it's just ridiculous it's ridiculous yeah all that I, being said i'll probably buy about 100 things on black friday <laughs> <laughs> i have a conspiracy that there the shortages aren't as bad as they seem and that the economy is falsely being pumped up by these black friday deals and uh making us think that there's shortages worse than they are so everything you hear now is uh, you won't be able to get this at Christmas. You won't be able to buy that a couple of weeks from now. So that's making people go out and spend money right now ahead it's, of Black it's Friday. here now, so I might as well get yeah, it. Yeah, and it's artificially stimulating the economy because they're just fearful that they, it's going to be worse later. I can get behind that. I can get behind that on a lot of stuff, but I do think there are legitimate shortages. Like you and I were talking, I ordered the yeah. Whoop, right? So my Whoop. I ordered it. I waited four weeks. It was still nine weeks out. I got an email yesterday that said, hey, tack on another six. So now when I log on, it's like, it's going to be like 22 weeks since I ordered it but before I can even start to look at it. So yeah. for things like Barbie dolls and stuff like that, hundred percent, I think you're a hundred percent on the money for that. But electronics, I definitely think we do have some shortages. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Some of the shortages are real. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all I got, gentlemen. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. Until the next time, shields up. Shields up.